what stuff have you heard over this TV thing, this uh, program, come across that is retarded? That's totally retarded. You got niggas running around talking about the woman is God. She the is. White man, she is. She is. She is. The white man. The woman is God. The black woman is God. Come on, the woman is our God. How did she get the baby in her womb? Let's see. Because, because, conceptually, how did she get the baby in her womb? Let's see. Because, how did she get the baby in her womb? Let's see. Because, how did she get the baby in her womb? A woman that carries eggs in her womb. Right. Consistently. You house them. Every 28 days, the eggs that you do not use, you push them out. The man carries sperm in his brain. In his brain, when the heat of your body and the motion of your body has an attractive gravitational pull on the semen. It draws it down the spine. On its way down the spine, that is a living entity. And it grabs parts from every part of him and it's pushed into you. How much stuff have you seen? Say, Brakate Yahoo, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahoo, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahoo, Brakate O'Shea. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahoo, Bashem Yahoo. Bashem Raka Kadash, the blindness of the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams and the four kind of the earth to push in the gospel and sincerity in truth. Shalom. Just want to do a lesson on this video to show that you know the, our people in total darkness and in ignorance, you know, pushing this doctrine, right, which is a fable, saying that the, the so called black woman is God, right. So, just want to go through a couple of precepts to show that. You know, which in the scripture, the women them that had understanding, you know, they 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 praise and thank Yahweh Bashem Yahusha when they conceive, when they when they bring, when they bear seed for their husband, right? Another thing too, you know, sperms don't be in your brains, right? And we can prove it through the scriptures too. The sperms being the lines of the man, right? So we just go into these precepts, right? Because you know, two third of people are in darkness, which is ignorance, right? And this black conscious community is, is madness, right? Black mean darkness, mean you're, you're, you're all in total ignorance, right? The black, the so called black woman is the weaker vessel. The woman is the weaker vessel. How the hell she's God, right? So the, the brother, the brother um, is, I think it's Dr. Reggie that's called him. He asks, her, he asks her a, a good question how, how she get the, how she get the baby in her womb? And one of the man said by the seed, and how the seed get near the man plant the seed, right? So let me just get into some precept, right? Uh, we start with, um, <clears throat> you know, because this, this is a vibration a lot of you Israelite push, especially you, you, you in the black conscious community, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all in total ignorance, right? Psalms one, Psalms one thirteen. Right, <clears throat> Psalms 13 verse, um, I think it's verse 8. Right, uh, in verse 9. Right, yeah, Psalms 1 Psalms 13, um, verse 9. He said, He make it the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children praise ye the lord yahweh bashem yahushai says yahweh bashem yahushai is who give life yahweh bashem yahushai is who take life you understand so all praises go to yahweh bashem yahushai not no so-called black woman right I mean this again this is psalms 113 verse 9 he said he make it the barren woman to keep house so the barren woman don't bring forth seeds of barren right the most eyes who make the woman barren right he said, and, and, and to be a joyful mother of children, praise ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. So he opened, he, he would open the woman's womb, right? He would hope, the, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai would open the woman's womb, right? Um, this is Genesis 25, <coughs> right? Uh, let me start, let me start from verse, um, This is Genesis 25. Alright. 
it's Genesis 25 verse 19 he said and these are the generation of Isaac Abraham's son Abraham begot Isaac and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian of Padarama, Padaram the sister of Laban the Syrian and Isaac entreat so Isaac entreat makes supplication beg pray cry out to the Lord right and Isaac um, entreat the Lord Yahweh for his wife because she was barren yeah so if if this if, if this woke up black communist god why is she barren why she can't open she woman conceive without even a man planting a seed in she if she's god right to show our people in total ignorance right and isaac in with, with the, the, so isaac we know through the spirit that isaac is yahweh shai right you understand and yahweh shai praying to yahweh to open the womb of his wife because she was barren but yet said nigger running around in 20 in so called 2018 in the in the time of in in the time of information you understand still saying the so called black woman is god they show people in total ignorance right um genesis 25 and um 21 he said and, and isaac entreat the lord yahweh for his wife because she was barren and the lord was entreated of him and rebecca his wife conceived so the most i opened up she woman she conceived right she conceived you understand so all this madness that you are speaking about that is so called black woman is god all in total darkness <clears throat> it's genesis 4 and 1 he said and adam knew his wife and she conceived and bare cain and and said I have gotten a man from the Lord, Yahweh. So these women, these women had understand that they they wasn't no God. They was a help me to, to the husband. And when they conceive a seed, it was it when they conceive the seed, is the father Yahweh Bashim Yahusha allow allow the baby to farm in them and develop the baby. Not the black woman. You understand? Not the so-called black woman. Right? And this is Eve. Thanking and praising Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? Because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai gave her a man child, right? You understand? How hard is this for you dumb niggas, right? Y'all is a bunch of dumb niggas, right? Let uh, me get this one in, right? Let me get this one in. Get this one in Genesis 29. It's Genesis chapter 29, uh, verse 20, 28. And Jacob did so and fulfilled her weeks. And he gave him Rachel his daughter to wife also. And Laban gave to Rachel his daughter Bela, Bela his handmaid, to be her maid. He said, and he went in also unto Rachel and he loved love also Rachel more than Leah and served with him yet seven other years and when the Lord Yahweh saw that Leah was hated he opened her womb and Rachel was barren so if she if if if, if the so called black woman is God why 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 Rachel gonna open her womb when she was barren no she can't do that because she's not God right and leah conceived and bear his son and she called his name reuben for she said surely the lord had looked upon my affliction now therefore my husband will love me you understand and she conceived again and bear his son and said because the lord had heard that i was hated he had therefore give me this son also and she called his name simon yeah the most high the most high is who the most, the most high is who is give life and take life right you understand the most high is who is give life and take life and this is what jacob said to his wife rachel right um genesis 31 and when rachel saw that she was barren um Salakia, and when rachel saw that she bare jacob no children rachel envy your sister and said unto jacob give me children or else i die and this is what Jacob said our food father and Jacob anger was kindled against Rachel and he said am I 
in, in the most high seat who had withheld from thee the fruit of the womb so if she's God why is she gonna say you know what I gonna bring four children you understand oh, oh you you black conscious community you niggers you Israelite you call yourself Africans y'all in total darkness you understand y'all in total total darkness right you get this one in Psalms, guys. The heavenly fathers who do all the work. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not to the, the so-called black woman. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The so-called black woman is our servant. Right? She was created to be our, our helpmeet. To bring forth our seed. Right? The seed comes from the man's lungs, not from his brains. Right? Psalms 139 will start from verse 13. Psalms 139 verse 13 he said thou hast possessed my realms thou hast come cover me cover cover me in my mother womb and this is the most I do in the works I praise the see how about Hashem Yahushai I will praise I will praise thee for I am fear, fearfully and wonderfully made marvelously are thy works and and that my soul know it right well my substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest part of the earth, thy eye didn't see my substance, yet being unperfect, meaning baby now developing. You understand? Because all the works of Yahweh Hashem are perfect. Right? He said, In my mother, he said, Salakia, thy eyes didn't see my substance, yet being perfect, and in thy book all my members were written. Which is continuance, continuance were fashioned when when as yet there was none of them. So fashion go back to what the word um cre cre um create, right? Um, a matter of fact, let me get a quick right. Let me go to the blue letter, right? You understand? If if you nigga if you niggas if you niggas saying that the black is so called black communist God, you nigga void of understanding. Right, you niggas, you niggas are reprobate silver. Right, our praises go to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not the so called black woman, eh, Salak, the internet of this. So, right, let me do it on the computer. Right, so the word fashion go back to what go back to cre um, create. Right, you go back to create. Right. Um, yeah. So, you know, you niggas, you niggas, you niggas void, void of understanding. Yeah. So you niggas void of understanding, right? And as I'm waiting for that information, let me get um, let me get next piece of day right to show that the Mosai is who the Mo Mosai is who do all the works right all the works the Mosai did right um yeah the word fashion in Psalms 39 verse 16 right um right And the word is ya, ya, Yasar. Strong Jakes 3335. Yatsar. Yatsar. Right, Yatsar. And it means to form, to fashion, to frame. You understand? Of creation. Right? So the Mosa is who create, create the baby. The Mosa is who give life. And we can prove it. Is. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 8. For when? We start from um, four, verse 7. Second Corinthians chapter Salaki Second Ezra chapter eight verse seven for thou are alone and we are one workmanship of thy hand like as thou hast said for when the body is fashioned me create he said now in the mother womb and thou givest it members thy thy creature is preserved in fire and water and nine months do thy workmanship endure thy creature which is created in her 
You understand? So the all praises go to Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is who do everything. Not the black woman is God. No. You understand? She is she was just created to be a help meat. She was just created to bear bear the seed of the man. You understand? She role she have an important role too, but she are not God. Right? You understand? She is not God. She have an important role. You understand? To be a help me to the to husband to bring forth seed for, for our nation. You understand? To guide the home. You understand? She have an important role, right? You understand? So let me read this back again. Second Ezra chapter 8 verse 8. For when the body is fashioned now in the mother womb, and thou givest it a member, thy, thy creature is preserved in fire and water, and nine months do thy workmanship endure thy creature which is creating her. So yeah, in nine months your baby come out. Right? Um this one is the second second Maccabee. Um second Maccabee seven and um seven verse twenty. Second Maccabee chapter seven verse twenty this when this son when this wicked one uh, this devil Antiochus killed the woman and she seven son because they didn't want to taste um swine swine flesh. But you niggas eating swine flesh a day and when we tell you niggas this abomination, you have a problem. Most of you are ashamed, you are put you niggas to death. Right? Second Maccabees chapter 7 verse 20. But the mother was a, was marvelous about all, above all, and worthy of honor, honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slay within the space of one day, she bare it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Yea, she exhort every one of them in her own language, which is Hebrew, filled with courage of spirit and stirring up, up her womanish, woman, womanish thought with a manly stomach, she said unto them, I cannot tell how he came into my womb. So if this woman, if you claim that the so-called black woman is God, this woman is your right mind, saying that she cannot tell how he came into, into her womb, right? I cannot tell how he came into my womb, or, or I neither give you breath nor life. Neither was it I that formed a member of every one of you. Because as Yahweh Bashem Yahweh do everything. So our praise go to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Not the so called black woman is God. No, she's not God. Right? The scripture said, the scripture said, the scripture said, the man, the men of Israel is God. Right? They are gods. That is not the so-called black woman. Right? Verse 23 he said, But the doubt, but the doubtless, but doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generation of man. Is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh who formed the generation of man. And from out the beginning of all things will also will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again. So this is reincarnation surely you live more than once. As he now regard not your own self for his law's sake. Alright? So the so called black woman is not God. Alright? The men, the men of Israel, the men of Israel are gods. Alright? It tell you the it it Yahweh Shai said it too. Right? Psalms 82 and Psalms 82 and 6. Right? Psalms 82 and 6. I said, I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are the children of the Mosai. And this word is supposed to be Banyam, which is son. Right? Son. Right? He are gods. The men. The men of the nation of Israel are gods. Right? Not the, not the woman. Right? And Yahweh Shai said it too. Right? Yahweh Shai said to the... Um, to, to the, to the um, <clears throat> right? I think it's John um, John 10 and 32 for correct yeah this John 10 and 33 and the Jews answer him saying for a good work we stone thee, stone thee not but for blasphemy and because that thou being a man makest thyself God right so so the Jews saying that by well, he called himself God you know they said that Yahweh was speaking blasphemy but this way, how shall I say? He caught them. Verse 34, how shall I answer them? It is not written in your law. I said, He are gods. And I just read it, Psalms 82 and 6. 
So the men of the nation of Israel, they are gods, right? And we can get back, we can get back the, 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 the power, right? In the kingdom of heaven, we 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 can be gods because we can know we can know we can know everything, right? We can be perfect. We can got the laws written in our hearts, right? But we are the gods. The men, the Lord out in the highways and by with they are gods because they judge and they know good, they know they know good and they know evil, right? They know good and they know evil is why they're judging righteously. They're judging the nation of Israel and these are the heathen nation, right? You understand? Not the so-called black woman. No, not she. All praises go to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? And your sperms don't be in your head. Right? This is Hebrews chapter 7, verse 10. He said, For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. What's the man loins? Going back to his seat back. Right? Where the sperms come from. Right? When you, when, when you, go, to, when you go to Google and you put in the word loins, it gave three definition, but this one is we're looking for, right? It's um, it's a noun. It said the region of the sexual organ, regarded as the as the source of erect um erected erected or uh, procreated power, right? So this the man lungs. So just being your father lungs, you don't be your father brains. Just being your father lungs, right? You, you come from your father, not from your mother, right? Just be, is be in your father lungs. When he plants your seed, you develop in your mother, and she brings forth the seed, right? Our people in total ignorance, right? Um, first King eight and nineteen. First King chapter eight verse nineteen. Nevertheless, thou, thou shalt not build the house. This is what the Most High tell King David. Nevertheless, thou shalt not build the house, but thy sons shall, but thy sons that shall come forth out of thy loins, he shall build the house unto my name. Right? So you come out from your father's loins, which is the seed pack, right? Not from his brains, right? From your father, you come from your father's loins, you understand? And he plant, he plant his seed into your mother, and the seed, the most I develop the seed into your womb. The most I do plant all the members. The most eyes who fashion it, he might be six feet tall, five feet tall, he might be buff, might be slim. The most eyes who fashion the member, right? Not the so called black woman is not God, right? And with that, hope is less much edifying. I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessed salutation to the Akiums in the four corners to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.